In a time before time, when continents were united and life was in its infancy, the world witnessed a remarkable chapter in Earth's history. Welcome to Triassic Treasures, unveiling Earth's ancient past, where we embark on a journey to discover the mysteries of the Triassic period. Our story begins in the wake of the Permian-Triassic extinction event, a catastrophe that reshaped the planet. The early Triassic was a world in recovery, marked by desolation and survivors determined to rebuild. The climate was harsh, with vast deserts stretching across continents. The once thriving ecosystems had been reduced to a mere shadow of their former selves. But life, resilient as ever, began its slow journey back. Unique creatures adapted to the new environment, and the first glimmers of a new era emerged. Among the survivors were the ancestors of the giants that would one day rule Earth, the dinosaurs, but their dominance was still a distant dream. As we delve deeper into this enigmatic epoch, we'll uncover two incredible stories of adaptation, survival, and the rise of Earth's most iconic inhabitants. Join us on this expedition into the heart of the Triassic, where the past comes alive. Meet the pioneers, like Eoraptor, small and agile, and Heresaurus, an apex predator of its time. These were the ancestors of giants, and they laid the foundation for the reign of the dinosaurs. From grasping hands to upright stances, these creatures possessed innovations that set them apart. The Triassic was their proving ground, a testing phase for evolutionary wonders to come. The Triassic played host to a grand experiment in life, with a multitude of species trying out different roles in the ecosystem. It was a time of experimentation and evolution. Today, paleontologists tirelessly uncover the secrets of these ancient creatures, piecing together their stories from fragments of time. Dinosaurs hunted, nested, and thrived in this world. Their rise marked a pivotal moment in Earth's history laying the foundation for the grand spectacle of the Jurassic and Cretaceous. But the Triassic was not just about dinosaurs, its oceans held their own wonders, teeming with marine reptiles that ruled the seas. The Cusaurs, with their sleek bodies and streamlined forms, were the masters of underwater hunting, and the Plesiosaurs, with their long necks and sharp teeth, roamed versions in search of prey. On land, the Triassic saw the dominance of formidable archosaur reptiles, phytosaurs, with their crocodile-like snouts, and rasuchans, with powerful jaws, were the rulers of this world. The Triassic period showcased the intricate web of life, where terrestrial and marine creatures coexisted, each playing a vital role in the balance of nature. The Triassic period was not just a time of biological transformation, but also one of geological change. The supercontinent Pangaea, a colossal landmass, dominated the planet. Pangaea brought continents together, shaping the climate and ecosystems in profound ways. But as the Triassic marched on, the forces of continental drift were at work. Over millions of years, Pangaea began to fracture continents drifted apart opening new oceans and influencing climate patterns. These changes had a profound impact on the Triassic world. As we enter the late Triassic, we witness a new chapter in the story of life on Earth. The first mammals make their appearance, marking a turning point in evolution. These small, nocturnal creatures filled ecological niches previously unexplored. They were the pioneers of a lineage that would eventually lead to modern mammals. In a world still ruled by reptilian giants, these tiny mammals represent a glimpse of the future, hinting at the evolutionary paths yet to be travelled. The causes of this transition are still debated. Volcanic activity, changing sea levels, and even asteroid impacts are among the contenders. Today, we stand on the shoulders of pioneers who unlocked the secrets of the Triassic. Modern paleontologists continue to unearth fossils and unravel the mysteries of this ancient era. Through advanced technology and new insights, we piece together the Triassic puzzle, gaining a deeper understanding of our planet's distant past. Dinosaurs are a group of reptiles that have lived on Earth for about 245 million years. In 1842, the English naturalist Sir Richard Owen coined the term Dinosauria, derived from the Greek dinos, meaning fearfully great, and soros, meaning lizard. Dinosaur fossils have been found on all seven continents, 
All non-avian dinosaurs went extinct about 66 million years ago. There are roughly 700 known species of extinct dinosaurs. Modern birds are a kind of dinosaur because they share a common ancestor with non-avian dinosaurs. Paleontologists are like detectives who examine the evidence that extinct animals left behind. Those clues to what dinosaurs were like are found in fossils, the ancient remains of an organism, such as teeth, bone, or shell, or evidence of animal activity, such as footprints and trackways. Everything we know about non-avian dinosaurs is based on fossils, which include bones, teeth, footprints, tracks, eggs, and skin impressions. For centuries, people throughout the world have discovered amazing fossilized bones and footprints. Early finds inspired legends and fairy tales, as people imagine that these bones belong to giants or huge monsters. Some consider Barnum Brown, who began his career at the American Museum of Natural History in 1897, to be one of the greatest dinosaur hunters of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He began his career at the American Museum of Natural History in 1897. Many of his greatest discoveries, including the first specimens of Tyrannosaurus rex ever found, are on display in the museum's dinosaur halls. Today, in addition to patience and sharp observation skills, paleontologists employ new technologies to solve unanswered questions about dinosaurs and other fossils. Advanced imaging technology, such as CT scans, allow paleontologists to see the three-dimensional structure of fossils, often without having to remove the matrix. Paleontologists incorporate the research of biomechanics, applying the principles of both physics and engineering to reconstruct the biological movement of non-avian dinosaurs. The information gleaned from fossil bones along with observations of both the movement and the musculature of living animal species help scientists model how non-avian dinosaurs may have moved. A footprint can also provide clues about the kind of dinosaur that made it. A three-toed, sharp-clawed print means the footprint maker was likely a theropod, usually a carnivore. A three-toed print with rounded toes probably belonged to an ornithopod dinosaur, an herbivore and pairs of unequal sized prints were most likely the work of the four-legged, long-necked, long-tailed dinosaurs called sauropods, another group of herbivores. Modern birds, or avian dinosaurs, have skeletal features that are almost identical to some non-avian dinosaurs. Feathers evolved before flight and may have functioned as insulation to keep dinosaurs warm, or for display as a way to attract mates. The earliest known dinosaurs appeared during the Triassic period, approximately 250 to 200 million ago. Dinosaurs evolved into a very diverse group of animals with a vast array of physical features, including modern birds. Contrary to what many people think, not all dinosaurs lived during the same geological period. Stegosaurus, for example, lived during the late Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus rex lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 72 million years ago. Stegosaurus was extinct for 66 million years before Tyrannosaurus walked on Earth. During the Mesozoic era, a period of more than 180 million years that included the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods, a species of non-avian dinosaur evolved into a species of avian dinosaur. This avian dinosaur is the first bird and the forerunner of all birds. Every non-avian dinosaur went extinct 66 million years ago. There are several theories as to what may have contributed to the mass extinction of non-avian dinosaurs and other species at the end of the Cretaceous period. It is certain that a massive asteroid or comet struck Earth during this time, causing a dramatic shift in Earth's climate. Some scientists speculate that this impact had catastrophic consequences for life on Earth. But other factors, including changing sea levels and large-scale volcanic activity, may also have played a significant role in this mass extinction. Most theropod dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus, had teeth that were pointed, slightly curved backwards, and serrated. 
The sharp points pierced the meat, and the serrations helped slice it by catching and tearing muscle fibers. Meat eaters didn't chop or grind their food. They swallowed chunks whole. Plant-eating dinosaurs had teeth of various shapes designed for their particular diets. Triceratops, for example, had hundreds of teeth that formed a solid wall with sharp ridges. The teeth were used to chop off vegetation. Other plant eaters, such as Anatidon, had wide flat teeth that they used to grind up tough vegetation. The long-necked dinosaurs, such as Diplodocus, had long pencil-like teeth that they used to rake the leaves off branches. These dinosaurs swallowed the leaves whole. They also ingested small stones, called gastroliths, most likely to grind up the food in their stomachs, much the same way modern birds, such as parakeets and chickens, do today. From an individual footprint, scientists can estimate the height of the dinosaur that made it. A rough estimate of leg length is obtained by multiplying the print length by 4. <laughs> A footprint can also provide clues about the kind of dinosaur that made it. A three-toed, sharp-clawed print means the footprint maker was likely a theropod, usually a carnivore. A three-toed print with rounded toes probably belonged to an ornithopod dinosaur, an herbivore. And pairs of unequal-sized prints were most likely the work of the four-legged, long-necked, long-tailed dinosaurs called sauropods, another group of herbivores. Modern birds or avian dinosaurs, have skeletal features that are almost identical to some non-avian dinosaurs. Feathers evolved before flight and may have functioned as insulation to keep dinosaurs warm, or for display as a way to attract mates. The story of the Triassic period is a reminder that our planet is ever-changing. Geological forces shape landscapes, and life evolves in response to these transformations. The dynamic Earth of the Triassic set the stage for the remarkable adaptations and innovations that followed in the later epochs. The Triassic secrets are buried deep within the Earth, waiting to be unearthed by the dedicated scientists who continue their quest to unravel the mysteries of this ancient world. Their passion and dedication drive the ongoing exploration of our planet's past, uncovering fossils that tell the tales of creatures long gone. The Triassic period was a world of wonder, where bizarre creatures roamed vast landscapes, and the forces of nature shaped destinies through the lens of time. We catch a glimpse of a realm that once was, a world that, against all odds, gave rise to the marvels of the Mesozoic. The echoes of the Triassic resonate even today, from the birds that grace our skies to the crocodilians that patrol our waters. Remnants of this ancient era live on in the creatures that share our world, these survivors, the distant descendants of the pioneers of the Triassic remind us of the enduring power of life's lineage. In a rapidly changing world, preserving the treasures of the Triassic is more important than ever. Scientists and conservationists are dedicated to safeguarding these windows into our planet's past. Their efforts ensure that future generations can continue to explore the wonders of the Triassic. The Triassic was a time of climatic extremes, with vast deserts and lush forests. Ancient plants evolved and thrived, laying the groundwork for Earth's modern florocycads and early conifers dominated the Triassic. Landscapes, adapting to the harsh conditions and influencing the evolution of terrestrial ecosystems. While dinosaurs often steal the spotlight, the Triassic harbored an array of lesser-known wonders. In the oceans, bizarre marine invertebrates thrived, Ammonites with intricate shell patterns and crinoids resembling elegant sea lilies were among the ocean's enigmatic inhabitants. The Triassic saw the emergence of groundbreaking evolutionary innovations. From the evolution of it laying to the rise of fur and feathers, life was in a state of dynamic change. The transition from egg laying reptiles to live bearing ones marked a significant leap in reproductive strategies, while feathered dinosaurs hinted at the origins of avian flight. Recent scientific breakthroughs have allowed us to peer even further into the Triassic past, 
by analyzing fossilized pigments. Researchers have unveiled the long-lost colors of these ancient animals. From vibrant reds and blues to earthy browns, these animals boasted colors as diverse as the landscapes they inhabited, challenging our preconceptions of a prehistoric world. While the Triassic saw the rise of numerous creatures, it also witnessed lesser known extinctions. Some groups of animals vanished, leaving questions and mysteries in their wake. Understanding these selective extinctions and the ecological reshuffling that accompanied them continues to be a focus of research revealing unexpected facets of the Triassic story. The exploration of the Triassic never ceases. In the grand tapestry of Earth's history, there exists a chapter that begins with a cataclysmic event, a turning point that would reshape the world as we know it. It was a time of colossal forces, a clash between giants and the emergence of the unknown. Welcome to the age of mammals, evolution and diversity. Our story begins 65 million years ago on a day that would forever alter the course of life on this planet. The mighty dinosaurs, rulers of the land, met their end in a fiery cataclysm, a cosmic collision that sent shockwaves through the world's ecosystems. But from the ashes of this disaster emerged a new chapter in the history of life, a chapter written by the underdogs of the prehistoric world, the mammals, these small, resilient creatures seized the opportunity, and their story is nothing short of awe-inspiring. In our quest to understand the age of mammals, we must first journey back in time to the devastating event that set the stage for their rise. It's a tale of destruction and rebirth, a momentous turning point in Earth's history. Once, the Earth belonged to the titans of the Mesozoic era, the dinosaurs. These colossal reptiles roamed the continents, ruling over the land for millions of years. The impact triggered a chain reaction of devastation. Firestorms engulfed the land. Massive tsunamis swept the coasts, and the skies darkened with debris, causing a dramatic drop in temperatures, a global catastrophe. In the wake of this catastrophic event, the mighty dinosaurs, the dominant rulers of the Earth, met their end. Their once thriving ecosystems lay in ruins, but amid the chaos and desolation, a glimmer of hope emerged a group of small, furry creatures known as mammals. These survivors, once overshadowed by the dinosaurs, would become the torchbearers of the future. As the dust settled and the world began to recover, the age of mammals was about to dawn. Join us in the next part of our journey as we delve into the dawn of mammals and uncover the remarkable story of their rise.